Hey, what's up everyone? This is Zarina, your Upland neighbor, bringing you the floor today, May 2nd, in all Upland cities. I can't wait for two days from now when it's May 4th and I can be like, hey, may the 4th be with you. So I'm a geek like that. But anyways, Upland delivered some exciting news about asset search. So there's an asset search now, people can do this. Um, I'm not sure if I'm just late to the game. I mean, I know they just announced this part, but like you can go searching for block explorers, cars, NFTs, like of all sorts basically. But I just noticed like basically if you go to like, so if you're in Upland and you go to say like your, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look as I'm doing it to make sure I don't misdirect you. But basically go down to those three dots at the bottom and then hit assets and your own assets. And now you can search for properties and filter like which ones are for sale by USD, which ones are for sale by Upix. You can put a price range in. So if you're looking to find out what do I have that's being sold for maybe too low in London, you can just do a filter and just go there and search. It's pretty awesome. I think people were already like begging for a search filter so that you can search your properties. And now if I wanna search, I'm like, hey, what do I have in Cleveland? I can actually go ahead and type in Cleveland and it pops up and looks like, actually, let me make sure, I just gonna put all properties, and I'll put just search by all properties, no price range, and then search for Cleveland, and check it off and apply. What? I think I have to put some price in there because it came up with zero, but when I had money in there, it had a price, so I'll see. Ooh, I don't know what I'm doing. Not come, do I not have price? I'm like, maybe it's only for sale. Maybe you have to have some type of up its range in there because after I took it out, it didn't want to work right. So I'm gonna up that up its range and see apply, and now it's bringing it up. So it looks like it is giving me the, pro the only the properties that I have um, that are when I search my assets for sale. Like I have a $15 property, like I'm selling for $15 in Cleveland. But let me see if I just say clear and then type in Cleveland. It's still coming up with what's what I have for sale. So I guess this is like more like search and see what you have. Yeah, it looks like that. Find out what you're selling in your assets. You can do that. Let me see what else I might be able to do real fast. So I'm typing on my assets. I'm gonna type on um, football widgets. Oh, when I type in properties, all of them come up, but you have to search by addresses. So if I want to search, say, I have a street, I have properties on London Street and in London. So it brings up my properties that are actually on London Street. So that's the address searcher. But if you want to go and find out if you have any properties that are just like for sale, it's going to show you by last Upix price, it looks like. Let me see, last Upix price, I'm going to put between 3000 and that much and I'm going to select Cleveland again and just see if it pops up anything more than just one property nope and, oh wait I have London in there pick that out okay now I'm getting all my Cleveland so you can do it so I don't know what was going on before but yeah I have apparently a few properties in Cleveland one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve which for someone who doesn't care for Cleveland it's quite a lot for me to have um, but I am trying to sell them, so it's just some of them are not selling yet. So we'll see if they ever do go, but I do have to go check it out. I have one that looks like, oh yeah, I just purchased it. It's not for sale. It's only $4. All right, <laughs> that's sad. Let's get to the floor. So asset search is pretty cool. Let's go check it out. Again, the bottom three dots of your phone, click on your assets, ass <laughs> click on your assets, and uh, go do your searching and see what's up. Here's the floor. Um, it's a good day in the neighborhood of Upland, looking pretty green. Prices are coming up. Birmingham is still not sold out. You can still mint there, but it's gonna be like, you know, 5,208, but that's not too bad. Um, I forgot to put the, Bur oh yeah, no, there's the Birmingham floor. You can see it's $6.28. So if you're buying an FSA property, you can still make cash if you sell, you know, for $6. You're still coming up and not coming down, whereas us other players, People are coming down. If you go to London, you can see it's gone down $15.75 now. Um, and there was, that one I think was like around 101 or 103% markup. So they're not making like a lot off of it. In fact, they're pretty much taking a loss because if you're selling at 100%, you have what? You have that 5% markup still that are the tax. And so 103, you still haven't covered that fee. So anyways, 
we'll see what's why people are doing that but if you go look at london the individual places like st james um bread street tons of other places they are like so expensive like the floor is like beyond ridiculous for like a lot of these places so this 15 dollars floor you're looking at the queen's park like that stress test neighborhood um yeah not like not anywhere that anyone thinks is collection there's a lot of speculation going on so after collections we'll see what happens but right now people are really serious about some of those places in london and like they're definitely not bringing their price down yet um, Manhattan is going back up a little bit on the epic side and a little bit on the dollar side. Not nothing, not anything to scream about, but you know it's going upward, which is good to see. Rutherford is staying at forty-two thousand on the epic side and twenty-one dollars now on that dollar side. So it's not as great as it could have been. Like Rutherford used to be much better before some people set this low floor, but we'll see if it comes back up. Santa Clara is pulling us up a little bit up on the epic side. On the dollar side, still $24. That's been kind of consistent for Santa Clara for some time now, the dollar side. So, and you, the North 101 area is actually pretty like more pricey. It's hard to get in there. So yeah, anyways, this is our floor. Happy hunting. I'll see you guys in the upland.